How to train pugs. Pugs may be little, but what they lack in size, they make up for in personality. They are fun-loving, loyal, and affectionate dogs that love to make their owners smile. 1. 2. Pugs are also intelligent but can have a stubborn side, which could make training your pug a challenge. 3. Training your pug should begin as soon as you bring him home, so don't delay in helping your pug become a well-behaved member of your family. 4. Crate training your pug. Select a crate for your pug. Crate training will keep your pug protected from household hazards, help with house training, and give him a place to retreat when he's overly excited. Your pug is little, so he won't need a huge crate. An ideal crate size is 24 inches long by 18 inches wide by 21 inches high 61 centimeters by 46 centimeters by 53 centimeters, 6. Encourage your pug to spend time in the crate. Your pug's crate should be a place of safety and comfort for him. Add some creature comforts to the crate, including favorite toys and a comfortable blanket. Place a blanket on top of the crate so it feels like a cozy den to your pug. Food is a great way to lure your pug into the crate. If he's hesitant to enter the crate, place some bits of food near the crate initially, then gradually put the food further inside the crate. 9. Do the same with his food bowl when he's ready for eating meals in the crate. Leave the crate door open at all times during this part of crate training. This will allow your pug to explore the crate at his leisure, without fear of you closing the door behind him. Close the crate door at meal time. For crate training to be effective, your pug must learn to be comfortable in the crate when its door is closed. When your pug is eating a meal in the crate, close the door and open it as soon as he's finished. Gradually, have your pug wait up to 10 minutes after a meal before you open the door. If he whines, wait until he quiets down before opening the door. Close the door for longer periods of time. You may need to leave your pug crated for hours at a time during the day, and maybe overnight. To get him used to this stretch of time, give your pug a verbal command, kennel up, or crate, to enter the crate, not at meal time. Sit with him briefly, leave the room for few minutes, then return to the crate. Work up to leaving the room for 30 minutes. It may take several repetitions before your pug learns the verbal command to enter the crate. Reward him with a treat each time he responds to it correctly. Practice leaving the house when you crate him. Do not get your pug worked up when you leave home or return. This could build up a lot of anxiety and anticipation in your pug. 12. Don't forget to take your pug outside to potty during crate training. This is especially important for puppies, since they can't hold their bladders for very long. Month of age plus one hour. 13. Decide whether to respond to your pug's whining. A common concern with crate training is whether to respond to whining, especially with overnight crating. You don't want to ignore your pug's whining if he really needs to potty, but you also don't want to teach him that whining gets positive attention from you. If he doesn't stop whining after a few minutes, let him outside, but do not play or talk with him, let him eliminate and that's it. If your pug is whining just to get attention, he'll stop whining after he realizes it's not working. Just be prepared for the whining to get worse before it gets better. 